righty. We got a uh, nice little match here. Bottom right, Goldenora M Sport Soon, our Red Terran player. And in the top left, we got Freeman, but we are not going to look at Freeman just yet. We got an SCV. Okay, he's going to do a little low ground, low ground uh, depot into some racks down here. Making sure we weren't getting any proxy shenanigans in game one. That would have been pretty fun. Freeman, honorable macro zerg. Very good player. I'm uh, curious to see what Soon can do against Freeman. He is usually considered one of the better players in all of SCL. And I think that our third hatchery is going to be placed down here at the gold base. As I just saw his camera looking in that direction. And um, we'll see when he wants to go do that. First rack's on the way for Soon. That second one will be here. You know what I'm going to say. Soon. There it is. 150 minerals. Right on time. Freeman hitting the extractor trick on his side of the map. Going to squeeze out an extra drone. And we've got the overlord now. I think he will be taking a gas soon, maybe. No pun intended. It's going to be hard to cast his matches without just constantly saying soon I'm realizing but the two Rex Reaper is gonna be on the way soon oh my god shortly uh, and we get the depot over here to the left next thing will be a CC for our Terran player I think Freeman gonna go off to build this third hatchery sooner than later Wow I don't know if I'm just like tripping myself out right now by saying it so much, but uh, I'm starting to realize how often I say the word soon when I cast. Freeman's gonna get here, know what he's up against. There's not gonna be just one Reaper. Second one will be on the way shortly. CC on the way here in the natural, down at uh, 2 to 9 or so. And Freeman did not go for that gold base. He's gonna take the third here instead. I think he, that he was wanting that third down here at the goal, but yeah, he even just repositioned his camera over here, so I think he's going to take his fourth base here now, instead of his fourth base being the linear third that it currently is. Nice Reaper Micro, damaging a lot of drones, avoiding a lot of hits as well. <clears throat> Extractor is cancelled, as well as the Spore Crawler. Some minerals, some mining time is denied, and these Reapers are still here to do some damage. Forcing another spore trick. One Reaper close to dying, but gets out of there. One drone does fall to Soon's Reaper. Two more on the way, and I think it'll stop the Reaper production at five. Maybe we get a, a crazy seven Reapers or so, but I think the five will be the number. Fourth one's on the way across the map. Another one behind that. Third CC as well for Soon. It is getting some damage done with these Reapers. Not anything massive, but... Definitely have never seen someone get this much done with Reapers against Freeman before. So, definitely, definitely a skilled Terran we got on our hands here. Link speed is halfway done for Freeman. And I think that we we'll get a... No, he's, he's only one out of three on the gas. He really is just wanting to be greedy, even though the Reaper threat is here. Grenade gets thrown down. Fifth Reaper is about to reconvene with his four other friends. Now we can start one-shotting the lings, I believe. And the drones, maybe. I can't remember how it works exactly. I don't really do the Reaper rushes too much myself. Versus Zerg. Uh, Reaper opener. Not even a rush, necessarily. Alright, we do have the third CC finishing up at home and the factory. Get a reactor on that bad boy. I think that the reactor will be for the starport. And we'll go into a marine drop. Got the stem on the way. I do like this opener here for soon. Good example of how you want to go about playing this style. 11 drones on the way for Freeman. Fully unfazed right now from any Reapers or any incoming threat from the Red Terran player. Five Queens here. It's all Freeman needs. 64 out of 66 supplies. Going to be slightly supply blocked for a couple seconds. No big deal though. Overward on the way. Freeman might take a fourth base sooner than later. We will find out. Third base is an orbital here for our red Terran player. He's trying to fill up this mineral line. He's got a lot of gas on the way, but uh, barracks are being produced at the moment. 
A couple SCVs headed out. Going to start a depot wall in front of the linear third base. I'm not sure if we actually take our third base here or if we take it at the triangle spot. I feel like it's almost 50-50 on this map. He wants it at the linear spot, which uh, I don't hate. Definitely more linear bases for a Terran to take on this map pool than the previous two. Bailing Ness is going to finish up for Freeman, who is uh, finally mining a little bit more gas. Three out of three on the one in the main, three out of three on the one in the natural. Double Evo Chamber just coming down behind this. Upgrades will start soon. I think our first two medevacs just loaded up and are leaving the base for the Red Terran, who will put the Reapers with the medevacs, it looks like. Nice little bio attack. Fourth Hatchery is down on the low ground. Linear base again for Freeman. And the Reapers are not going to be part of this push. Maybe they'll go to the front of the creep. Try and take out a creep tumor. They do damage to a queen but here we go medevac drop is deterred by a group of wings and two queens wasn't a ton of um either you know hydro stin is on the way so ling bane hydra freeman playing his standard game marine stem marauders or sorry the reapers are throwing grenades and this is actually rather decent getting the wings off of all the bio taking out some creep tumors taking out an overlord getting on top of these queens is the next goal Will he target the one with the energy? No, as he's not going to be able to. The wings are here doing damage. Suin doing everything that he can. Picking up and gets out of there with almost two medevacs full of units still. All in all, he's still producing the medevacs. Starting to reach tanks behind this as well. And we look like we are gathering all the troops for a first big push. This tank is with the bio already here. Second tank on the way with the other group of Marines and another medevac to join and do some more health care. Ten banelings are being more for Freeman, who's also trying to destroy these rocks and get himself a little bit easier position to surround. The tank is going to siege up right there, though. That's very nice. Queens are going to get right on top of that tank. And the tank on the low ground sets itself up, but only half health remaining for that. First tank on the high ground is no longer with us. Would like to see soon clear the creep that he's fighting on, but he knows what he's doing a million times better than I do, so of course, not the end of the world. He's just going in for it. Right here, right now, on top of the creep. There's only queens here. The transfuses as well. Now we got some reconvening wings. I don't think that there's actually too much dying here. The queens will start to fall, and soon marching forward with the stemmed marines. This is looking crazy. GG. Game 2, Sight Delta. Our red Terran soon putting on a very impressive first game in his SCL debut. And the bottom right, the opponent, Freeman. Very strong player in his own rights. Let's see what he can get done here on game 2. Uh, really where the problem was for him. He just never really had enough Banes, never had enough other units. He just had Queens and Lings. Soon had the bio and enough of it with the upgrades to just jump on top of those uh, units and... Got himself a nice win on Golden Aura. We do start off with the low ground racks once again. I assume we're going to get two of them. Soon not afraid about the add-ons being on the right side of it. Oh, sorry about that. Spawning pool on the way. It's a pool first build. Well, it's a gas into a pool for Freeman here, who is going to go off and take that natural base. Immediately pulls three onto the drones. This is a somewhat, somewhat aggressive for sure. All right, let's, let's see what he, what he's got. Didn't like how that last game opened for him. Looks like we're just doing one racks on the low ground here for our red Terran. Off the scout with that racks builder and the reaper. It's going to be queued up. We're going to get the CC on the high ground here at the natural. And we'll see where these players want to take this game. Freeman soon to have 100 gas. Keep that mining. And there we go. The wing speed queues up. And he has pulled off of it. So he wants the quicker wing speed. 
Uh, he will sacrifice a little economy in the meantime. Freeman knows, uh, sorry, soon knows that this is a somewhat late hatchery, but nothing too crazy. Still sends the Reaper across the map. Factory on the way, third CC as well. No, that's just the second CC. Um, we will get a third CC, however, because we don't have the second gas starting up with that. Oh, we do get the second gas starting up. So, this is going to be a standard build. We make six Hellions, we make eight Hellions, we'll find out. But I do like the low ground wall against Zerg. Not a bad thing to go for. Reaper's here, not finding any drones. Could have to loop around. Check out this base. Really nothing here. There's a queen. He would see the speed upgrading on the pool, but I'm not going to stick around long enough to see it. Actually, I don't think he ever got vision on the spawning pool. Maybe slightly. Starport is on the way, and a reactor is going to finish up soon for our barracks. Soon to make some hellions. And we do lose that reaper to the lings. Ten lings on the way across the map for Freeman. On the other side, they will run into just a couple, a single marine. Two hellions on the way behind that. So, Freeman wants to go for the reactor. Maybe a depot as well. The reactor is going to get repaired by the SCBs coming to help. All in all, the single wing was lost for a Reaper. Do we get the Liberator and the Cyclones? Oh, okay. This is a little new school TVZ. This is going to be fun. Lib Cyclone. How many Cyclones will he make? Will he make another factory? Rotorn. Has started up for Freeman here at four minutes, so far a different game than what he got himself into last time. Roaches, of course, are going to be very good against these Cyclones, so long as he can get the speed upgrade uh, down on the Roach side, that is. If not, the Cyclones are still pretty advantageous. Overward is going to fall with the Vision from the Liberator, and we are back to Hellion production. Looks like two Hellions, two Cyclones, going to just hang out here at the front of the Natural. Liberator's going to head across the map, most likely siege up in the main. Already queued up to go here and do its job. As our battle mech units start to roll out, the second Hellions have joined up. Six Roaches in production are on the way for Freeman. He's also got that Spore Crawler for the Liberator. You'd think that he would have just dealt with the Liberator with the Queens, maybe, but this is a really good position. He knows the unit's going to fly in from the left somewhere. Gets a good couple free shots. Cyclone Hellion are approaching the third base. It's not going to be enough, I don't think, especially with the Lings coming around for the surround. The Cyclones are stuck. I don't think we've even lost the Queen. We did get a couple drones that are all from the Liberator, I believe. Liberator is still here. Got a six kill, even, somehow. And the Lings headed right back across the map soon down. Nine workers. A little bit in the army supply, but he's going to have stim soon. He's got a bunch of extra racks. got his Ebays on the way. Third CC is finishing up as well. If Freeman wants to hold down the drone button right now, it would be pretty rough for soon, I think, because well, he's already got the stim, so soon is going to be aggressive. Now I think doesn't have any medevacs or anything on the field. Yeah, he's not got enough units to be aggressive. He's going to be gearing up for a big push. Roaches arrive at the front door. Going to cancel shields. That's rather annoying. Now turning their sights on the reactor for this barracks. Soon cancels the racks entirely. All right, gonna lose a depot, and we've morphed one of the weak rav roaches into a ravager. Liberator seizes up on that main ramp, and there will be nothing else here getting done. Unless the lings wanted to run in, of course, and finish off this depot. Depot does get repaired just at the last second. Good job there from Soon. He's got the two medevacs popping out shortly. One marauder, five marines, two hellions. A couple SCVs are standing around here, trying to fix the wall. On the other side, we got the Roach Speed started up. Another Spore Crawler, double Evo Chamber. And uh, Freeman sitting nicely with the fourth hatch on the way. Four bases active. Soon, not even done using his third. Not even starting to use his third yet. 
Another barracks is on the way, and soon as uh, Freeman has found himself in a supply block, 104 out of 106, he's waiting for this hatchery. Oh, uh, well, the, uh, he did have some overwords queued up, and uh, they do pop. <clears throat> and we are going to take a fifth base here. Meanwhile, these lings are going to see this third base taken over here on the other side of the map. Lings are going to get cleaned up in the end. No big deal. He did have a tank siege up, unsiege, resiege. So soon, a little unsure of what he wants to do, he's going to go. I know, I know what a Terran's thinking. He wants to go with this push. Maybe not. Siege is up the tank in a different spot. Since the Liberator crossed the map to check for any other potential bases. And soon heading out 15 Marines, 2 Hellions, and a couple Medivacs. On the other side of the wall, though, dangerous amount of Roaches and a very dangerous amount of Ravagers soon to join. So those shields just now started back up, and uh, that's that was a, quite a denial on those shields. Liberator did find himself four little drone kills. Sport car finds himself a Liberator to kill. Here we go. Hellions, Marines going forward, taking out a couple Queens. Soon is not one to um, focus on clearing all the creep that much. He gets off of the creep, goes for the hatchery. This hatchery, going to be close to dying. I think he will be able to pick this off. He's going to lose some units in the same time, but gets out of there. Two medevacs full of units still, and some uh, troops still at home. Tanks, marines, and two more medevacs will pop soon. More barracks are on the way. A second factory as well with an armory. The upgrade advantage, 1-1, one, one, will be uh, evened out soon when these Carapace and Plus One range finish in 15 seconds. But the Roaches, the Ravagers are here. SCVs are pulled to keep them away from all the fighting units for the Terran. And I think this is going to go rather good for our Terran player. Now who has the supply lead? 116, um, well, lost the supply lead as some uh, more units popped out on the other side. Here we go, though. He doesn't like seeing creep on his side of the map. Got to scan that and get rid of it before that gets out of hand. 23 workers did die in that push, though, so that is massive amounts of damage done. Down 17 workers now for our Terran players. He's got the mules, of course. Fourth CC is starting up, but far, far away. He's going to need to get some real damage done here with this push. Tanks are joining. He's got how many tanks? He's got only these two tanks. Thought he had another one or two on the way. Banings are here. Tanks siege up to take the bailing hits, but there's no more tank support. There are a few more banings on the way. Get it target fired to death by soon there. That was very, very nice. Now we're getting on top of these queens once again, just like last game. And the roaches. This is very nice micro. Does take a bailing hit, but didn't seem to uh, be the worst one in the world. And oh my goodness, this is how you use some marines. Holy shit. Queens are out of energy. There's no more chance to use this. The roaches are resupplying slowly but surely, but we don't have Bane speed for quite a bit long. We don't have plus one melee, and the plus two carapace is not quite done yet either. Freeman does seem to survive getting soon to pick up. He still had quite a few units there. Had the tank and everything. Maybe soon just knew that he was happy with what he got done there. I definitely think he brought himself back into the game. This fourth CC is uh, not getting built. It has been idle for quite a while. I think he even started a fifth and canceled it at one point. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. I did CC the CC on the production tab idle for a minute though. All right, we're gonna start seeding some tanks, clearing some creep, and doing this push the proper Terran way. Meanwhile, Freeman, his army consists of only ten lings, five banelings, two ravagers. And all these roaches here, 20 of them on the way. Tanks are going to do absolute work. The DPS from the Marines is too much. Oh no. I think Soon is going to take a 2-0 lead over our Hungarian Zerg, Freeman. Freeman just killed a nice little 9 SCVs and he's going to walk into the natural with these roaches as well. He's just trying to buy time, I think. It's going to be a Marauder. Ten workers are following now soon, reconvening his army here. Knows that he's got to focus and get damage done. Going to siege up these tanks once again. A lot of Ling Bane here. No splitting. Just running backwards. He will sacrifice the tanks to the Banelings and then go to the left with his army. Looks like these roaches are going to get cleaned up surely, but still. Okay, soon's only down seven workers, four workers after he pops out a couple more SCVs. Here we go. He's got a fifth base finished. 
fourth one, sorry, fourth one finished, fifth one on the way. And at this point, he's going to start just building mass CC, I believe. He's got uh, one starport, two factories, seven racks. Most people would say he's a barrack short. No big deal. Planetary Command Center will start up here at that fourth location. Seems like Soon has a hard time holding on to more than two tanks at a time. Every time I'm thinking he'll have more, and it's, it's two tanks. <laughs> of course, he did trade him out for the Bainings a couple times this game. Kept a lot of his bio alive so he can keep the pressure on. A queen will fall. 15 Bainings are morphing right here in the Ling Bane. Roach are trying to get the surround on the Terran units. Bainings are hitting left and right, and I do think that Freeman is going to clean all of this up rather nicely. Soon still wants to keep the pressure on, but it's only. To two, three medevacs worth of units. Freeman thought he got more damage done than, uh, I think Freeman wasn't aware of how much stuff was still in here. Since the Banelings back, cleans up most of this bio, and on the other side, Freeman hopping on the fifth base of our Red Terran. 13 SCVs, 15 SCVs have fallen, and now he is headed back to his own side of the map to deal with a simple five Marines or so that he just can't seem to get rid of. Medevacs are here, boosting away. Meanwhile, Freeman with another group of wings here on the map. Gonna send them to the linear base over here. It's gonna find a planetary to uh, run into though. I think that he's got enough to take care of it. 16 Banes are on the way. As Freeman's got a decent little army here. Upgrades are 2-2, two, two, other than the plus one range, plus one factory. So yeah, these are very similar upgrade wise. And now we've got the Banings. They're gonna roll right into that planetary fortress. No, he's going straight for the workers. Still plenty of Banings here. Lings can take out the planetary. Banings rolling forward, getting on top of all these Marines. I think it is going to be enough bio to hold off the end of this push, but the eco damage is hitting hard for our Terran player. He is still up in supply overall, though. However, 48 Lings on the way for Freeman. Would like to see him maybe make some Hydras, get some workers out or something. Adrenal glands and 3-3 start up. He's also got the Ultras Cavern on the way, so that's the tech unit that he wants. He didn't, he's not thinking lurkers. He's going straight for these Ultras, baby. Soon on the other side of the map, clear and creep still slowly but surely. With the little army split, tanks siege up in the back. Wings are going forward. Going to start taking some damage from these tanks. The Banings do get hit by these tanks, and that is massive. Not enough Banes here to clear this Terran army. Still two tanks on the field for soon. Who is going to hop on top of this hatchet down on the south side of the map? I think that it is good as gone. Marines are control clicked away from the Marauders. And the Banings don't get too much done in the end there. Now this hatch will fall. Up 40 supply for our Terran player. This is going to be about impossible for Freeman to hold on to. It's just got no army. It's just got no army. GG. All right, game three on equilibrium. We got a red Terran player on top of the right, on top of the scoreboard. 2-0 against Freeman in the top left. Freeman tried to make some roaches work last game. Wing Bane the first time, and soon is just a very strong player. Is the only answer to it, I think. Um, he played Reapers first game. He played pretty standard the second. that he'll switch it up slightly again for game three but it's gonna be macro plays of course might we get mech something like that would be fun I think Freeman probably knows how to deal with mech pretty decently though just gonna go with the hatch first build again second time out of the series Gas, going for a pull. This is a normal game. I like this little marine eating a donut. That's a chubby marine. Almost has boobs. <laughs> I 
Alright, orbital and reactor first. So we will get a slightly different game. And we are not building a CC just yet. Okay, we are going to build a CC. We've got the minerals. He's got the CC on the way. I was about to say, what are we actually doing here? Of course, just the single gas, so it's not going to be anything too aggressive. Freeman going to start filling off with this uh, mineral line at the natural. And soon knows that the hatchery is done. Knows that this is a standard play. Freeman off with a drone to the third base at the triangle position. He's going to just take it here. Usually not the base that you see Zerg's taking. Factory. Second gas. This uh, game could look pretty similar to the last one. Other than no Reaper, two extra Marines. We'll find out what Soon's game plan is for it, though. Freeman gonna send two wings across the map, keep two at home. Hanging out with their queen. Having a good time. Feeling safe. These guys, a little more adventurous. Starport and an orbital to start up for our Terran player. Wings will finish soon. Of course, Freeman does not have any other gas mining. So it'll be a second before we see a Roach Warren, an Evo Chamber, or sorry, a Roach Warren Baneling Nest, or any other good stuff. It's going to make Lings and Queens get back to his macro style. Tech Lab on the factory. Certainly going to be for the Starport to make some Banshees with. And Hellions are on the way. Will he make two Cyclones after the first round of Hellions? I'm very curious of that myself. A cute little switch to, that you can do. Take out an Overlord or two. This is going to go straight for the Hellions. And a Medivac. Is he going to start a Marauder in Concussive Shells? Fusion Core? Oh, baby, this is going to be hot. Oh, yeah. Seven drones on the way for Freeman. He's headed across the map again. And they will get denied for a second time by the Hellions. I think that this is going to be a drop, maybe? Yes, okay. Six Marines, four Hellions, and a third CC here for soon. Gonna take out this Ovi. Good job there. Now, wow, he kept the, the Hellions back to not get seen by the Overlord. Uh, maybe it's just going to keep him back in general now. We do get that Baneliness here from Freeman, who is supply block. Three Overlords on the way, though. He'll be fine. First battle cruiser has started up. And I think soon we'll follow it up with some Hellions, maybe an Armory. Medivac drop going into the back of the main base, but Freeman is all over it with his camera. He's got Lings here denying this drop. Never had a chance to even get on the ground. So the four Hellions at the bottom of the map. More Hellions are on the way, as well as double gases down here at the natural. One would have thought that he already had a couple extra gases for BC production. But... This is looking good so far. Armory indeed is on the way. He is going to do a little um, marine drop in the natural. A little hellions at the third. He's going to do a BC in the main. Is my guess. BC is going to pop out soon. As our units are reconvening all here. Do we not have the medevac anymore? We don't have the medevac. I don't know how we lost the medevac. But we lost the medevac. Look at this. That's some uh, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky creep spreading, or clearing, I should say. As our first BC is on the field, when will it teleport? We will find out. This is a sexy BC skin. The wings, if they are paying attention, will see the BC, but it's a hard call. BC teleports in right on top of the rest of the army. And a second BC is on the way. The queens are doing massive damage. The marines are all almost uh, uh, away from the queens. BC's hurting. Soon coming in with a very aggressive build. He's going to lose a lot of units here for it as well. Nine drones do fall. He's going to get himself an Overlord. And uh, this BC pretty much free to float away. You can get that second Overlord. Oh, we do get mech. Three factories, four factories on the way for our Red Terran player. And he is going to lose his first BC. 
we can clean that up. I only got two kills out of it, but the uh, the threat it posed while the Marines and the Hellions were doing other things was decent. 76 to 52 workers. He's down pretty massively on the worker count right here. So, 24. A little more than ideal. Gonna set up a uh, block off in front of the natural even. That's a, a first for me. Floating the BCs across the map and a lot of Hellions are being produced right now. Plus one on the factory units. And he's gonna start clearing some creep with these cars. Getting away now that he sees the incoming Queens. That depot wall is set up. He's gonna have plenty of extra supply. 89 out of 141. He will not need to build anything soon for supply. Looks like we canceled a something. I'm not sure what it was. It might have just been a different eBay and then he just restarts a new one because I think 113 is what you get back when you cancel eBay. So we did go Spire and we do have Mutas here as the mech play will get absolutely roasted by them. Uh, of course this BC can do damage to some Mutas but doesn't even get a single kill. Damaged a lot of those Mutas. Didn't kill a single one of them. He, maybe he did only damage two of them. Hellion's rolling past the natural. Rolling past the third, I should say. And the Banings are there to catch him. He's going to find himself a decent amount of worker kills. On the other side, our Hellions are here. Still fighting BCs, though. Now we have Cyclones in the mix. So that's not going to go well for the Zerg player. On the other side, he did only kill two workers with all those Hellions, so that is an absolutely terrible trade. Eight Hellions, three SCVs and a Cyclone, three Mutas, and two Drones. Units lost tab. About 500 in favor of the Zerg, so that is never good for the Terran. Zerg hitting a double expand right now, and uh, this whole side of the map is going to be purple. And we are going to have a small section of red here for our Terran player. We'll have his hopes pretty much tied to getting a fourth command center up. Tank Cyclones being produced as he knew that the opponent was making Mutas, but now we are on to the Roaches. Down to the plus one range on plus melee, road speed. Getting the uh, the turret upgrade, the high, the high uh, sec auto tracking. And these mutas are back to fight the upgraded turrets. Oh my gosh, that's some range on that turret. Holy shit, I never realized how good that upgrade was. Blue Flame and the other tech up are both going to go down. And so will that cyclone speed. Oh, he needs to stay around. He gets it. He's going to lose some mutas for it, but non-upgraded cyclones are not the way. I think we got our two BCs floating into the bottom of here. Is the BCs indeed getting on top of two queens. The queens will die, and the BCs will be free to reign on this base for quite a while, I believe. He's going to go for the hatch, for the site on the hatcheries instead. We never got Yamato Cannon. That is a uh, interesting way to go about playing BCs. Making Thors and stuff right now to deal with these mutas. BCs are going to teleport home, trying to uh, just keep getting value out of them. However, at home, this is a massive army for Freeman. Roaches. No, Ravagers actually. No Roaches. Ravager, Ling Bane for the second game in a row. The Banes are going to take out the Supply Depot wall. The Widow Mine hit would have been nice, but it doesn't even go off, unfortunately, for Freeman, actually, of all things. And the Mutas positioning themselves, finding the tanks to clear out. The Cyclones are right below them. We've got a massive fight. BCs, tanks, Cyclones, Mutas, Banes, and Ravagers. A lot of stuff is going down. And I think that this is going to be more than okay for uh, for soon, by the end of it all. Files are flying, hitting the CC. The CC's on one life, getting repaired. Oh, last second repairs are beautiful. 22 workers did fall, though. However... That fourth base stays alive, which is almost just as critical, I think, of a factor. Ten Corruptors are on the way to start taking out these BCs. However, the Thors will be able to take out the Corruptors rather easily. The Cyclone BCs get on top of all the Ravagers and the Morphing Banings. The Banings are going to be able to catch the Cyclones for the second, but not the second wave of them. And all in all, these units lost tab just went massively in Soon's favor. He was down 500 resources. Now he's up 5,000 resources. Corruptors are here. BCs are going to fall left and right. Well, just left, maybe. And that was a pretty cute teleport there. Sometimes we all do that. You just grab them, the thing and teleport away. Widow Mines get a cute little hit on the Corruptors. No damage, no kills, though. And over here, we get nine kills on the second Widow Mine, so 
That is rather annoying. Ling Bang going to try and get us around on the Cyclones as the Corruptors come in to work on the BCs. The BC is going to go down. The Thors still stand. The Cyclones still stand. Oh, man. This is how you play freaking defense as Terran. What the heck? Behind us, six Ravagers morphing. Plus one Flyer. Plus one Flyer Carapace. Let's see what all Freeman wants. Oh, that's a pneumatized carapace. It's overwatch speed. I would say, uh, fire carapace. <laughs> Wouldn't mind. Just, uh, just a couple kills, nothing massive. Terran army looking like two Thors, four tanks, 11 Cyclones, two mines, and a BC. The BC has been around most of the game. And we never actually got the, uh, the upgrades for the Cyclones or Hellions. So that's massive. At the top of the map, our BC is floating to a base. Meanwhile, soon trying to guard at home with all these tanks and cyclones. A couple doors in the mix as well. BC's here clearing creep. That'll just be its uh, fifth kill, sixth kill of the game of these creep tumors. It's really not gotten a ton of value. And the corruptors find the BC. The BC's gonna have to teleport home fast. Faster than this, as it will fall. Soon, meanwhile, looking at these Cyclones, that must have been what he was microing instead. Getting on top of these Ravagers, the Banelings are morphing. They will get on top of these Cyclones eventually. The Lings get in front for the surround. And all the Terran units start to fall. 40 supply lead for our Pink Zerg, who is getting on top of the tank line now. A couple Cyclones, a couple Thors seem to be all the way, all the things standing in his way. Does not have a massive army supply here for Freeman, though. He's saving up for that Ultros transition. Once again, the Ultros Cavern just finished. Fire attacks level 1, going to finish soon. <clears throat> He's turned his eyes on the depots, leaving a couple of these changings behind. And Freeman playing a very, very good game here. We do get the Cyclone Speed and the Blue Flame. Finishing up once again. Took him quite a while. 14 minutes, you definitely want those upgrades before then. And Freeman at the top of the map. With a bunch of Ravagers, a couple Overseers. And soon, as broke as can be, throwing down a factory in the middle of the map, trying to take this fifth base. 65 to 87 workers, he has done a great job just not dying yet in this game. Freeman's been ahead for quite a while. No, the CC is going to get found by the Corruptors. And will unleash their fury on it, I imagine. That CC is good as gone. Two more hits from these Corruptors. Sorry, three more. That was on one life after the second one. Ravagers are going to march forward to see what they're up against. And they don't like what they find. As our battle mech player is somewhat stepping out on the map again. Trying to get the creep control under. Getting the creep under control is what I'm trying to say here. There is a lot of banelings more walking into this though, and the cyclones do start to fall. The Thor, the Ultralisk, are here fighting now, and uh, soon knows what he's up against with the Ultras on the way. And Jesus, he's going to clear all this. 38 in the army supply until uh, a couple Ultras are queued up. Man, Soon's done a great job staying alive in this game. 137 to 194 supply. He is down on workers, producing four at a time still, and he's going to get this gold base up. He's going to finish soon, and he will place it there. Starting to produce some Widow Mines once again in this game as well. Cyclone's getting on top of all the queens, but now we got the Brood Lords. All the, uh, all the tech, all the upgrades, all of his side of the map almost, other than this base right here remaining unclaimed. When Ultralisk will find these Cyclones, and the Cyclones actually do really good against the Ultras. They, uh, they're just a little bit too fast for the Ultras. Wings here, though, do slow down the Cyclones, and of course the other Ultralisk will come in and capture it. GG's call. What a fucking game. Freeman.
right, we got game four. Top right, Alcyon, soon two points on the scoreboard. Freeman, just one. Gonna try and even it up though. And Freeman, being the kind player this game, GOGO, no word said from soon. Just gonna start off with the low ground racks once again, third time out of four in the series. second I don't think we will we've got a uh, second rack's gonna be placed in the middle of the map for a quicker uh, second Reaper to arrive that's how this is gonna work out 150 minerals there is that barracks the proxy hatch on the other side of the map from Freeman here this is gonna be spicy hot alrighty so he will most likely just hatch some roaches out of this I believe is the way that we go about it we'll find out and I think the roach rush might be really really good if he does get roaches out of that proxy hatch really really good against a second barracks that's out on the map as soon as he's going to have to just lift this up and uh, or just keep making the reapers from it I'm not sure quite the way to go about it but it's not going to be good for soon as long as there are roaches coming out of this proxy hatch we'll find out second gas is on the way and I think that Freeman will get the wing speed. He might even just skip the wing speed, go straight for the Roach Warren. We'll find out. Orbital finish up for the Terran player. He's got two Reapers. And he will start up a CC with the 400 minerals with this Barracks Builder. Good uh, good macro here. And soon, of course. He's obviously showing he's a very skilled player. Wouldn't expect anything else other than good macro. It is indeed the Roach Warren from Freeman. He's going to try and get a quick game two. After that last one, it took a, a game four, I mean. After that last one, it took a, quite a while to deal with the uh, the BC, the mech play of Soon. So, Soon will get vision of said Roach Warren. If he steps one more step forward, the Queen is here. And Soon did not see the Roach Warren or the second gas. Only two out of three on this first one. With plenty of gas left inside, this could have been a very very uh, non-telling scout however he knows that there wasn't the hatchery and so that has got to have his alarms going off we got the queen at the new base we got roaches spawning there is a hole in the wall for the roaches to walk through two ravagers on the way and uh, third ravager starts up as well gets found by the reapers this could not be a worse time throwing their grenades the ravagers are here Good grenades here from soon, but that one right there is going to march the roaches and ravagers forward a little bit, as well as the queen here, and the CC on the high ground is the only thing that uh, really needs to be saved. Two bunkers on the high ground as well, but just the reapers being produced, and even out of the proxy racks, we're going to keep producing reapers to bring them home, as we can't waste time, we need DPS. This racks will fall, and with the supply box soon's in massively, I don't know man. It's going to be tough. Just now starting up our factory. He's got a lot of roaches, uh, ra uh, reapers here. Not roaches, not raptors. We don't have another hatch behind this from Freeman yet. So it's not over yet. We do have the overward vision. We do have ravagers. We are going to buy all these bunkers down. Of course, soon is going to repair them. He's got a second factory on the way. We are going to switch into some mech, battle mech type play again for our red term. Who did start off with two barracks. He's going to throw down a third CC in the face of these Ravagers. That's all you can really do, I guess, with the... you got to spend your money somehow. Reapers hop down, but he loses one. And every single soldier is important now for our Red Terran player. SCVs are repairing the bunker. Biles are flying left and right. What is the next step of this game? We do get the hatchet down at the natural for Freeman. But that third CC is on the way for soon. Not so sure. I mean, Freeman's got a massive supply lead. That is for sure. But, 32 to 31 workers. He's still making roaches behind this as well. He just wants to take out the bunkers. He tries to aim at the, ro the reapers. Oh, the bunker will fall, I think. Finally. Slowly but surely. 
Freeman working his magic. Now it turns a sight on the second bunker. Reapers hop inside. And we got a cyclone on the field. Another tank on the way and a second cyclone. The little bunker falls. And now Freeman needs to go for it, I think. Before the tank pops out, it's going to be a massive time to go. But I think he's going to miss his window. Third CC is finished up, turning into an orbital. And with the tank here to guard the high ground, Freeman is probably going to have to go into somewhat of a macro game behind this. He's got 12 wings on the way. He's got a bailing nest. He just wants to get up here and end the game. He's not made any more workers. However, soon is keeping up that SCV production. Freeman's going to pull the trigger. Biles flying in on top of the tank. The tank falls. The Reaper grenades are good, but it's not going to be anywhere enough. You can't survive this many Ravagers in your base when you don't have any other fighting units than Reapers. Two Reapers, 34 SCVs. They do pull around the Ravagers. Get a nice surround. The Ravagers got to start bombing left and right. And we got a tank out now all of a sudden. Ling's coming in. 18 SCVs have fallen, giving Freeman the worker lead. And I think that he will still be able to pull way far enough to win this game. No more fighting units remaining for soon. He is going to lose everything to these Lings incoming. And we will get a hot game five in this series between Soon and Freeman. Freeman pulling out the dirty builds. He says, you will not try to make BCs against me. GG is called. Alrighty, best of five, game five, soon in the bottom right of Oceanborn, ripping Morale Sports, aka Mouse Sports, and Freeman, top left, ripping Ancient Regime, the Hungarian team, full of Hungarian princes, the fearless leader, Smoke. We're going to do Reapers again, low ground wall. Freeman hatch first on his side of the map, of course. We'll be into a gas and into a pool. A little extractor trick. This is, uh, I think, the Eric. Gonna get the queens up pretty quick. Single racks started up, and I think we're gonna get that second one this game. So that'll be the third attempt at a two racks reaper for soon. Of course, last game he didn't really get to play it his way, as there was a hatch at his third base, or one of his potential third bases. <clears throat> Alrighty. No gas has started mining yet, but it will soon. For Freeman, be a rather late ling speed. Not the end of the world, of course. Standard play. It's going to make a lot of drones and some queens, of course. Our first two reapers have started up, and I think that he's going to go for that nice little five reaper number that he went for in game one. Uh, maybe it was game. Yeah, it was game one on uh, Golden Aura. Off with the Reaper. Second one on the way, and a third one is queued up. I expect to see those Reapers still queued up for two more after that one pops. CC down here at the natural. As well as a second gas on the way. First Reaper's hopping into the main, second Reaper's shortly behind him. And soon he's gonna find himself a drone. Oh, the spore crawler. We're denied mining time, a little bit of wasted minerals. As these Reapers are still dancing around. Gonna find himself almost a, sec a second one. Oh, he uh, target fired the wrong one right there. Of course, that first spore tr crawler is canceled now. Gonna get back to mining. Queens are here. One of those Reapers is very, very close to dying. Down to like 10 life at one point. And the link speed just now starting up here at 310 or so. Do we 
lose an Overlord? No, he did an Extractor Trick, I guess. Reapers hop up and turn away. I'm not really trying to mess with that amount of Queens. And there's not another way into the base. It confirms the third base. He can get a lot of damage done to this with five Reapers, actually. That hatch is canceled. That drone is dead. Meanwhile, we got the third down over here now. Wings headed across. Going to try and save this hatch as well as these slow queens. But the grenades are going to keep these units off of the Reapers as much as uh, they can. Micro here from soon. Just gonna start one shotting these wings left and right. And these Reapers are trapped. Soon getting everything done that he can with them, though. That was uh, well defended by Freeman. Five Reapers die for 12 wings and a drone. Roachhorn for Freeman. And um, two meta bags, a bunch of Marines for soon. Of course, he's going to go into a drop with this. He's got that third CC set up. Expect some Ebays soon. Oh, he's got him. And, uh, well, we need to be using these Ebays as the next step. I would probably, I'd probably say it would be pretty good. First little push out. 16 Marines, two medevacs on the way. Plus one has started for both ways on the Terran side. Fourth base and a lair. Evo Chambers for Freeman. Freeman lost himself an overlord there. A couple wings poking into the third base. They find the tank and they are going to be denied. Meanwhile, for soon, marching forward with this bio squad. There's plenty of roaches, plenty of queens here. But the pickup and into the main will be the deadly play, and it is the deadly play. Only one queen here to defend, and she will go down quickly. Now another queen just going to file up one by one. Roaches and queens are split off. We are going to start losing drones and overlords left and right. 111 out of 88 supply. We only lost one overlord. Now we've lost six with this marine push. That has got to be rather annoying. No overlords in production for Freeman right now either. So uh, lost a mineral line almost, a half a mineral line of workers, six of them. And one medevac gets away free. Second factory is on the way. Quick to throw that down. I like to see that out of Terran players when the opponent's playing roaches. It's very, very smart to do that. It's something that I'm stubborn to not do myself all the time when I know I should. And the 1-1 one, one will finish. I think soon's going to gather the forces. 27 Marines, 3 tanks, 3 medevacs. And head across the map for his first push. He unloads the medevac drop on the right. The Roaches are seemingly aware. The Overward must have uh, given it all away. A couple of these Marines do die to the Roaches. And soon is just going to play defense with his tanks. And stay out on the map with a couple drop squads. I like this against the Roaches. Maybe feeling that his opponent was uh, a good bit ahead. Freeman on 60 workers hasn't produced any more drones. He's going to make some hydras, maybe some workers. It's supply block for this supply block. 134, 143 out of 144. No overwards in production. No hatcheries in production. Freeman needs to uh, make those ovies. Spreads nine cube tumors at once and down the middle of the map. And the 
infestation pit will finish up soon for him. Maybe for a hive, I would assume. And now, just now, the four overlords start. So he's already been supply blocked a solid 10, 20 seconds or so before the overlords start. Roaches are going to clean up a healthy amount of marines, but not, not a big deal. Units lost uh, 1650 to 2398. Soon going to drop back into the natural base over here. Needs to get these medevacs away from the spore crawler and does so. Spreading out these marines. Going to deny the mining time and um, got himself two little drones. That, yep, I was going to say that medevac would die just getting touched by a single uh, bile. And it did. 13 hiders on the way. I think Soon's going to go for a really heavy three base saturation all in. He's got the 4th base, 5th base as well on the way, but he's not made drones. He's got 3 on the way, 7. Just queues up some more. Definitely not the way Freeman normally plays this, so I think he would normally be up to 80, 90 drones and then make him the hiders, not the opposite way. Some would even say he would make Mutus, if you know what I'm saying, Smoke. Alright, we got a healthy amount of marines here. 39 on the map. Only one marauder, as there is not even a baling nest to deal with. So this is a very good job knowing what units to make from soon. I think most people would probably still be making the marauders just out of fear of the banings. Of course, they are really good against the roaches themselves. Groove spines for the hydras and the lurker den as well on the way. 189 to 186 supply. Both of our players at 82, 83 workers. We've got a absolute banger game five here. Plus one on the range, plus one carapace versus plus two and plus one armor for our Terran. Vehicle weapons finishing level one. And now on the left side of the map, Freeman is going to find the medevacs. He knows that there's also a squad on the right side. Let's see how his multitask defense is. Seeming to be a part of start. Units on both sides, and we are now morphing the Lurkers. This is going to be a lot harder for our Terran player the rest of the way, as another factory to start up. That'll be three factories and a Ghost Academy. Plus two on the factory units themselves. Plus three attack. Double the gases. Soon knows how to uh, make the right stuff. A bunch of tanks gather on the units on the right, or the left, sorry, I don't know my left and my right. Meanwhile, on the right, those Marines are finding a bunch of Ravagers, Roaches off the creep. And the Lurkers, they were on hold position until the Marines walked forward, and then he let them fire. Don't think that any uh, kills. He got three kills. On the left side, the tanks siege up, and they are going to blast through these Hydras and Ravagers. No problem for Soon, who's got that medevac going back in on the right side over here. Freeman, unfortunately, moves the units away at the absolute worst time. And over on the left, tanks are slowly marching forward. Going to be able to start doing damage to these Lurkers. In the back of the third, and now in the back of the main, soon is going to drop these marines. And we're going forward onto lurkers here. That's not going to be a winning fight, is it? Okay, maybe it is. It was only one or two lurkers, I guess. Binding cloud on the medevacs. They're slowly getting their health drained. But in the back of the main, overlords are going to fall left and right. Lurker is here to burrow. No scans from soon. Meanwhile, it's still a very even supply game. 189 to 183, of course. 10 drones dying there is not good for a Zerg player. Soon back over here at this base now. Vipers are joining the mix. Lurker, he's dropped two more Lurker Dens. He knows he needs them. Did we lose the Lurker Den? We did lose the Lurker Den. Okay, so that's pretty massive. And this drop will get cleaned up eventually as the Terran body parts fly into the ether. All these tanks are still here, though marching forward and the creep is getting cleared pretty damn decently. Freeman thinks he's going to take a base there soon says otherwise as these hydras roaches are going to get on top of the tanks and that is a massive misplay from soon there. I don't even know if it's a misplay he just kind of got a little too far to the left and Freeman showed up with everything and those tanks are going to be hard to replace in this army. Freeman is going to clear these rocks and start marching forward keeping the pressure on his opponent I think is going to be the move. 88 to 133 army supply. There's still seven tanks on the field for, uh, for soon as he's got the three factory production. So, I was very wrong saying that the tanks were going to be hard to re resupply with. And the Vipers are here. We're going to yoink some tanks and we're going to pick them off. 
One, two. Goodbye. With a minus down. Trying to take out the overseers and the turrets, of course, but... Now the lurkers are going to work on this depot soon. Marching forward with his bio squad on the top of the map. Four medevacs are here. They will absolutely roll through these hydras. Freeman doing what he can, though. Still with the supply lead. He's down 21 workers, though. 90 workers for this Terran right now. Workers taking hits, and they're getting scanned. These things are going to die if they don't be careful. And yes, one more will die. That's an expensive loss with these lurkers. Freeman's going to get this base down. Man, can you imagine a more close game five? This is good stuff. Soon with some units at the very top of the map, just hidden away, silently waiting for their moment. Depots are lowering, tanks are unseizing, and I think Soon is going to gather these troops and make a second army, or he's going to reconvene them with the ones at the front, or he's just going to lock down and play defense. This looks like lockdown, play defense mode. I think we're going Clem style. We're going to start producing planetaries, ghost, tanks, maybe even Vikings if we get the Broodlord uh, Heavy Corruptors out. We'll see if Soon has to go to that route. And with the planetaries, with the tanks here, this is going to be a very hard wall to break. Even a bunch of turrets on the way. Soon has a small squad on the left side getting cleaned up. Got a bigger squad on the top right, but it is found by the main army of Freeman here. And it's going to get cleaned up eventually, I think, by the Zerg army. A lot of upgrades finishing right now for both players. Level 3 attack, level 3 armor, level 3 carapace. Five drones do fall. As soon as kept a very consistent worker lead. We got the Spire on the way. Maybe for that Brood Lord transition. Oh, he's going to need the Greater Spire. So. Sister Towers are placed here. At our uh, bases now. And the last medevac from that original drop that we saw a minute ago is going to drop some units. Just two Marauder, two Marines, one Marauder. This is not a threat. Scans left and right from soon. Wants to know where anything might be on this side of the map. He's got his ghost all here. He does not want to lose them. Very responsible. He used five scans or so just to know that there was nothing coming near his ghost. There is that greater spire starting up after the spire finishes. And Freeman on the right side of the map. Nice little scan here from soon with the center tower awareness. Knew that there were units up here. Workers posting up out of range from the planetary fortress. And we have a bio move out over here. There's a lurker at the base, though, and this is going to be hard for soon to deal with. He stalled out for a moment there. The planetary fortress is close to falling, but it's got one life. The units all get out of snipe range almost. There was about 30 of those snipes casted at first. And the tanks, the ghost. Oh, baby, strap it in. This is going to be a long one, I think. I think this game still goes on for at least 10 more minutes. 26-minute game, I'm calling it. 184 to 169 supply. Freeman is making those drones. He does need to keep that drone count up a little bit more than he has over the last third of the game or so. Ghost count is 10. We've got two Hellbats. we got a nuke, 10 tanks, uh, 12 ghosts, sorry. Only two medevacs. Surprising. We've been producing a single widow mine right now. Ultralis Cavern on the way for Freeman. As soon marching forward. Finds the lurkers though. Scans. He's really got to get his bio away from these lurkers. Tanks are going to take care of him. Finds another lurker on hold position and it fires now. on the supplies. Freeman's pulling the trigger. The tanks are doing absolute work. And two tanks and a small bio force still stand. However, four workers are morphing just in front of them. I think that Freeman's okay. Two vipers. Eight lurkers are being made at a time right now. Adrenal glands gonna finish up. We got the vehicle plating. Level 2 started up as the level 1 finished immediately. And we're dropping nukes. It's time for the nukes. Oh my god. This uh, Zerg army is going forward. It's going to be okay. I think that ghost died, so we're no longer in fear of a nuke. As 
as the Zerg marches forward. He's finding another couple tanks in the back, but I think he's got more than enough to keep pushing. There are still a tank on the low ground and a planetary fortress for defense. A couple ghosts as well. Meanwhile, we do have changelings. Not, not actual Terran units. They appear red on the minimap, though. Bio stems forward, taking out a fresh creep tumor and going to turn his sights on a couple more of these things. A lot of lurkers are here, though, and soon just has to run away. You cannot fight these lurkers, buddy. Of course, he knows this. Sniped are firing. Wow, what a game, what a game, what a game. We'll get the scan on the lurkers, but the tanks are going to fall. The bio is going to fall. Soon has enough money in the bank to keep making all the expensive units, though. And the lurkers are repositioning to the top of the high ground right here. Do going down the middle of the map. We're going to start taking out these sensor towers and uh, missile turrets. Another tank here in front of the third base for soon. And we are taking out the turrets. And eventually the base on the low ground, I think, is the next move for Freeman. Taking out a nice wall of supply depots. Soon still 200 out of 200 available supply. So these depots weren't even important. They were more of a wall at this point. Soon though, making marine marauders only. No medevacs, no ghosts, no tanks. He's got the money for everything that he wants right now, but he just wants the marines and marauders apparently. Starts up a tank and a ghost now though. Plus two melee, just now about the about a third of the way about a, a third of the way from finishing. Ghosts are cloaked and sniping units left and right. He's a decloak as well. Soon moving out at the top of the map with a squad of medevacs, marines, and a couple marauders in the tank. These SCVs are going to repair this planetary for good, and it's going to drain a lot of minerals out of our Terran's income. We do lose nine workers in a hatchery real quick on the other side of the map for Freeman. Freeman's actually down in supply at this point, but with those 13 hydras queued up, that is now tied up again. Eventually we do lose this base. Freeman doing a really good job, but so is soon. What a game, what a game. 62 to 71 workers. Our Terran actually could maybe even donate some workers if he gets another CC or two up. We've got a couple over here as well. Starting a new one over here. That one's going to be turning into a planetary as well. We would like to see these extra bases turning into some orbitals. As these are both planetaries. Of course, great for defense. This is a planetary. There was also another planetary here, but he's really only got scans from three bases, four bases here in the main as we find another. 181 out of 176 supply. Eventually losing CCs and depots does catch up to you no matter how prepared you are. Small little bio force running through the middle of the map as soon we'll poke back in with the bigger force on the right side. Needs to scan for the lurker but turns in away instead. Would have been easy enough to kill that lurker. Of course, maybe he didn't have the scan the exact second that he needed it. He sees the two lurkers, sees the units here and the incoming hatchery. On the left side, Hydra's wings, a uh, single ro- oh wow. <laughs> single roach and an overseer. Freeman is 163 supply, queues up a bunch of wings, a couple hydras, and the plus three melee. 22 minutes and a, and a half, three more minutes, and my prediction comes very true. Alright, unit count, 13 ghosts, a single raven, 6 tanks, 6 medevacs, 26 marines, 7 marauders for our Terran player. I do like the raven getting mixed in at this point. He's much easier for clearing the creep. Freeman had a little bit of vision with these lurkers. The links can get on top of the tanks. They're unseaged. And he does such. Lurkers get burrowed. We're going to start working on this factory now. On the top of the map, we are pushing back in with a small squad. This is going to get cleaned up. I don't know where Soon's army is. Ten ghosts are around. Three tanks. That is not the numbers that we saw just a moment ago. I think he lost a lot in that fight up at the top of the map. And I think that Freeman... Is going to do the reverse sweep coming from back O2 here on Oceanborn. He's burrowing lurkers in front of the natural. We do have a tank still on the high ground that will provide good defense. And Soon does have still 
a lot of bases on the map. 56 workers for both of our players. Looks like we're sending a lot of our units to this base now. Going to try and cut off supply over here. Tank repositions in front over here. Now the ghosts are here, and this all these units will die in the end. The snipers are flying left and right. The tanks are doing damage, and the bio is doing work as well. Maybe I spoke too soon. As soon, still ahead in supply. Oh, shit. Workers are going to take out this base and a bunch more SCVs, though. The worker count is falling massively very quickly. 35 to 56. Soon has the army count, though. 77 to 53. So I guess as long as you have the army, it's not over. <laughs> SCVs are draining a lot of minerals to repair this base. Three workers and a hydra will fall. Soon actually... GG! GG! Freeman, scared of the army, I suppose. What a series.